Hey there, Eartha here. In today's video, I'm covering five ways to start selling coffee, whether you want to do it online or in a physical location. These are five ways that you can get started. And so let's go ahead and dive in. But before we do, just a quick sip of coffee for myself. Mm-hmm. Oh, so good. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in. And so I'm gonna move myself up here now during this presentation. But just a quick introduction before we get started. If you've never been to my channel here before, my name is Eartha. I have a blog at startsellingcoffee.com where I create content on an almost daily basis about selling coffee online. These are just things that I'm learning for myself and then I'm putting it on the blog and creating these YouTube videos so that if you are wanting to learn as well, hopefully this information that I provide uh, helps you along your journey in starting to sell coffee. So let's talk about the first way. So number one that I have here is wholesale coffee. So this is when you buy your coffee from a wholesale coffee roaster. That means you're going to buy the beans in bulk. This may require having a reseller's license before you can begin buying your beans. And then what it means once you have the ability to buy that coffee, you can sell their coffee in your own online shop or physical storefront. So as you receive orders, this means you pack and ship out the product to your customers. It helps to find a local supplier of wholesale coffee so that way you provide the freshest coffee to your customers as you can. And a nice thing about wholesale coffee is that you have the most control of selling your coffee using this business model because you have direct access to your product and you're the one packing and shipping it out or selling it in your store. So it's much more control versus the other methods that we're going to talk about. Uh, number two is private label coffee. Uh, private label coffee is where you can locate private label coffee suppliers. And what it means is that you sell their beans under your own brand. So this is nice for people that don't have the startup money for buying a roasting coffee roasting machine. And it's just a lot of um, investment for doing it yourself. So if you private label, you can take advantage of another roaster's ability to roast beans and you can just sell it under your own um, company's name. So some of the requirements differ from one private label coffee roaster to another. Some of them have fees that they charge. Some of them have a minimum order requirement. And then some of them may not supply the bags and labels for your coffee. You may have to supply that to them but it is an easy way to build your own brand. It's a lower cost way to get started, but it's important to know what your end product will taste like, the quality of it. So if you can find a local private label coffee supplier, even better, because that way you can build more of a relationship and you know exactly what your coffee is going to be like when your customers receive it. Number three is drop shipping coffee. And this is very similar to private label as some private label suppliers will also do order fulfillment. So the way that it works is that you sell another roaster's coffee under your brand, but they also ship it to your customers. So you don't have to deal with the product at all. You don't have to stock any inventory. You don't have to do any shipping, packing or shipping, but your job is to market those products so you can have it all in your online store every product that you sell but as you receive orders you pass those orders along to your coffee roasting supplier your drop shipping supplier and then they ship that product out to your customer for you keep in mind that you're still responsible for customer service issues so any refunds returns uh, any issues that come up complaints uh, where's my product anything like that then you have to, you're responsible for, for that as the store owner. So the key is to provide excellent customer service to help minimize those issues. But drop shipping, there's other things to keep in mind because a lot of drop shipping coffee suppliers also have various requirements. Some of them will charge a drop shipping fee. Some of them will have a flat one-time fee. Others, again, will not supply the bags and labels and all of that you may have to send those in 
So it's a matter of asking those questions up front and being sure that you want to deal with that particular coffee drop shipping supplier. Number four is affiliate marketing. And this is one of my favorite ways to sell anything online because I started as an affiliate marketer and it's something I continue to do today. But you can uh, be an affiliate marketer for various coffee companies that have affiliate programs. It's one of the easiest ways to make money selling coffee you don't need to buy wholesale. There's no private labeling you have to do. Don't have to drop ship. You can promote any coffee you want as long as you are a part of that company's affiliate program. So the way it works is that, let's say you join an affiliate marketing program for a particular coffee company. You get affiliate links, which are special tracking links. As you create content, let's say on a website, social media, and you want to recommend this product, you use your affiliate link. Of course, disclose that it's an affiliate link. And when a visitor clicks on that link and buys from the merchant's website, you earn a commission. So affiliate programs are free to join and typically the commission can run between five and 20% for most coffee companies. So let's say that the product is selling for a particular price, whatever it's sold for, you earn between five and 20% of that sell price depending on what they offer in terms of the commission rate you never have to ship anything and you never have to deal with customer service so this is a very easy way to begin selling coffee and i want to show you an example of a website that has an affiliate program so this is the bulletproof coffee website and you're probably really familiar with bulletproof coffee it's a very well-known brand and they have an affiliate program so in order to join the affiliate program, you just click down or scroll down to the bottom of the website. And they usually have an affiliate link. And you can see it here, it says affiliate program. I'm gonna click on that. And when you click on it, you get more details about the program. So here it says how it works. And usually they'll talk about the commission rate. Um, they don't have the commission rate here. It just says competitive commission rates product data feed is available great selection of creative banners and links uh, and so forth and so on they have a dedicated affiliate manager so if you wanted to apply to this affiliate program you would click this apply now button and it takes you over to wherever they're having their affiliate program managed in this case their affiliate program is managed by impact you fill out the application and then it will go through an approval process and once you're approved you can get your links and start promoting Bulletproof Coffee. Now, it helps to have a website already, some type of uh, coffee website, some type of social media following, just so they sh it can show that you're serious about promoting the products. This goes pretty much for any affiliate program. They wanna make sure that you're doing things on the up and up, that you have an audience, and usually they'll prove you pretty quickly. Uh, something else to keep in mind, most affiliate programs will pay on a monthly basis. So you can expect your commission payments from month to month. And they usually pay out via PayPal or by check or some other method. But PayPal is usually the general way that most affiliate programs do pay commissions. Last but not least, number five, this is another way to sell coffee, whether it's uh, in person or online, is network marketing. Now I'll say up front, this is not my favorite way to sell anything, uh, particularly coffee, but there are network marketing companies out there that you can join and begin selling coffee. So it begins by joining a network marketing company and you sell their products as an independent distributor. You sell products and build your own network of independent dis distributors under you. Now most people make very little money with network marketing some people they have great success with it but it's difficult to convince others to join your network or what's called a downline most people put more money into the company that they join than what they make because in most cases there's a fee to sign up and then there's a monthly fee to buy the products to keep you as an active uh, member of the company in order for you to earn money from the products that you sell. It's not impossible to succeed in network marketing, but it's probably one of the most difficult ways to make money selling coffee. 
And I'm going to show you an example of a network marketing company that is selling coffee. So this company is called Organo or Organo and they sell coffee and coffee products as far as I know. They are a network marketing company and you can see the different um, products scrolling here on the screen. And if you click on opportunity, this is where it goes into more detail about uh, becoming a part of the network marketing part of the company. So um, if you click on compensation plan, this is where you can learn how uh, you make money through this compensation plan. M most of the time, many of these compensation plans are really, for me anyway, they're kind of difficult to understand how it works. But um, if this is something that's of interest to you, this is w at one company, there's others out there. I haven't done the research on the other ones, but uh, this is an example. Just keep in mind that a lot of selling is involved. Not to say that if you are running your own business, there isn't a lot of selling. But if I'm going to put in a time and effort of selling coffee, I'd rather do it for myself versus doing it for a network marketing company. That's just my opinion. Again, some for some people it works well, and but for most people, it's a very challenging way to make money. So that wraps up this video. I hope these five ways of selling coffee have given you some ideas to begin starting your own coffee business online. Uh, if you want, please check below this video as I've got a link to the blog post that I wrote about this specific topic and you can get all the details about everything that I uh, talked about in this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like. And until next time, thanks so much for watching and talk soon.